Okay, so it's draft morning. What's the setup? What's everything like? You know, is it all digitized? Are you doing anything by hand? Like, what's going on there? So we're not all digital yet. Um, we still got the old school magnets. And Kyle Smith, our VP of player personnel, he's been in draft rooms forever. His thing is, you can't touch the magnet. After we actually submit the pick, once we talk to the player on the phone, then we can go pull the magnet down and move it. But if you touch it beforehand, he'll lose it. <laughs> With the eighth pick in the 2023 NFL Draft, the Atlanta Falcons select B. John Robinson, running back, Texas. It's really unbelievable. What makes him so special is he's such a versatile player. So you'll have certain players that they win with elusiveness or speed or quickness or power or strength, but he has all those traits. So he can win so many different ways. When he gets the ball in his hands, he really is a dynamic weapon. And out into the open along the sideline. That's Bijan Robinson. I am all about his like 6.3 yards per rush for his career. Yeah, and you see the body control wherever the ball is. When you have that type of body control, you're never covered. That's where him hitting out in space and be able to make plays like that is impressive. Man, I just appreciate the Falcons for, for picking me. And you know, I promise we'll let him down. But man, God is so good and I can't wait. With your pick, number eight. Just walk us through, like, all right, it's seven. You see the Raiders are on the clock, and now you're thinking, okay, like, just take us up to that moment. Man, we're so excited that he was there because you have a stack of players, and you basically have them ordered that if this player is there, this is what we'll do. Then leading up to your pick, you want to determine, should you move back? Should you stay there and take the player? And you have to really risk getting another draft pick, but risking losing this particular player. So there's a lot going through your mind, but we get there and, and this player is on the board. We know everything that he can mean for this team, for this organization, and the, the dynamic playmaker that he is, it's just so exciting. Usually you wanna be patient and you don't wanna turn the pick in right away and you wanna take the phone calls, but as soon as the Raiders turn their pick in, I wanted to call and, and, and get him on the phone did you, right away. Did you, did you wait? We right? waited, like, but it uh, was, it wasn't easy. <laughs> hey, John Robinson. How you doing? This is Terry Fondo with the Falcons. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're gonna, we're gonna pick you right here, man. Hey, let's, let's go. Thank God, man. With the 38th pick in the 2023 NFL Draft, the Atlanta Falcons have selected Matthew Bergeron, guard Syracuse. Going into your second round pick, you yep. trade up from 44 to 38. Yep. You got your guard, Matthew Bergeron, Syracuse, and you said guard, yep. but he played left tackle in college. Yes. So ultimately, you have a vision for him. Yes, and, and we have a vision for him at guard, and yet the cool thing about him is he can play those other positions as well. He can play left tackle, right tackle, either guard position. So even if the vision for this year is guard, who knows what can happen in the future. This is a massive man, and he's athletic. You talk about 6'5", big, long arms. So when you get a big man like that, that moves the way he does, Great. there's only so many on the planet. There's some things that, that I know our coaches are gonna help him improve on, but we love the skill set and we love the intent and the makeup. So we had a lot of passion for him and we wanted to get in a position to be able to pick him. Yeah, the, he's definitely a large human being. He is a large human being. And like you said, he's He's playing left tackle and he can play tackle in the league. For us, we really look at him, even as tall as he is, he's he flexible, he can bend, he can anchor, strong, powerful hands, powerful lower body, but then he's really smart, he's naturally confident, and you know he's the type of guy that's gonna fit in really good with our offensive line room. So you, you can see how when the camera pans out or it goes somewhere else, he's always still blocking their players off the tape. That's right. Like, in, 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 and so you see the, the finish and the effort, the intent that he has, even if it's not always pretty, he's always trying to finish. Hey Matt, this is Arthur Blank. How are you, buddy? Hey, I'm good, how you doing? I'm doing great. We're doing a lot better since uh, we just drafted you. With the 75th pick, the Atlanta Falcons select from the Ohio State University, Zach Harrison. Defensive end, pass rush, yes. an area of need. It is now round three, pick 75. You're watching this Ohio State film. Yeah. <laughs> You're looking at a very large man. Large man. You had, in free agency, you brought in another very large man. Yeah. You kind of got like a, like you have a type, a defensive yeah. end type this Absolutely. year, right? Huge. 
offensive line, defensive line, we want to have the most physical, violent lines in football because that's where games are won and lost. And so we can get the pretty skill position players that can make touchdowns and catch interceptions, yep. but you got to establish the line of scrimmage on both sides of the ball. That's where you're going to win and lose games. So you get to a Zach Harrison, and you talk about big. He's a tick under 6'6", 36-inch arms. He had the longest arms and the widest wingspan of any defensive end drafted this year. He's a big, long, physical man. You see the way he gets off the ball, the way he uses yep. his hands, and again, he's relentless. Whether it's the run game, the pass game, he's a guy that, that fights through the whistle. I love it. I love I love him and Calais. Like, good luck. Have fun with that. Oh, other goodness. <laughs> Five forced fumbles over the last two seasons. Pretty good. A little... Is that length? Yeah, tons yeah. of length, yeah, for sure. Clark, hey, we're going to turn this, this pick in right here, man. We can't wait to get you down here. and We know how you're going to go to work, man. You're going to be a part of something special, all right? Yes, sir. I'm ready to go. A lot of players we drafted were some of my, our favorite interviews, but he, he was probably the, fa the best of all time. Why is that? This little smile well, he on walks face, in, He walks in the, in the room, and he is, look, he's 5'9" but he comes in and he is presence right away. He was such a cocky, in a good way, <laughs> confident player. Like he, he knows, he has no doubt in his mind that he's gonna make it in the league. And when you put on the tape, you see why. Do you think Phillips will play nickel outside both? Or, and you've got Okuda and then you brought in safety with Jesse Bates, like. We'll see for Clark, yeah. maybe he's outside, maybe he's inside, but we believe he's a versatile player. Yeah. Um, he has a high football IQ. And so when you're really smart and you work hard, that gives you that versatility. You see just little things in that, just his body control, the way he positions himself, <laughs> oh, the way he sees throws, no doubt, he, his adoring fans. The way he, see, he turns himself into the receiver. Like when the ball's in the air, he's not trying to deflect it, he's trying to catch and take away. I mean, six interceptions in college football, that's impressive. He's smart and you know you get into fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh yep. round, you better bring in smart players because they're not going to get as many reps as some of the other guys. Yep. You have to be able to play special teams and to be a backup or a rotational player, you better be smart and be able to learn everything without getting as many reps as the other guys get. What's happening on the stage, by the way? Can we take that shot right now? Yeah. Let me see what, what's happening. What's happening right now? Fourth pick in the 2023 NFL draft. This guy's going to introduce the Wingate player. The Atlanta player. Falcons select. DeMarco Hellams, no. defensive back, Alabama. 28-3, good one. We've heard that before. <laughs> wow. oh. This next pick, there's a good chance that program that, you know, Alabama program that your safety yeah. went to is probably a pretty smart pick. You don't usually get right. to play for Nick Saban if you're... Playing the secondary for Nick Saban, you better yeah, be smart, you're, right? you're going to play in the secondary for Nick yes. Saban. You better know how to do it. So 108 tackles. He actually led Alabama. We were talking about tackles. 108 tackles last season, which was the most on that team. So you talk about smart. You're getting this guy in the seventh round. Yes. Prominent program, and so for him to play in the secondary for Nick Saban and to be one of the main communicators on the back end, so you know he's smart, high football IQ, you know he's versatile, and again, he's a tough, violent player. He plays with anticipation, and he's a type of guy that, yeah, he can take it away and he can play the ball, but he likes to hit people. This defense is, is fun to watch in general because of the way they play, the way they compete, and so bringing in somebody, again, from that secondary that had this type of production at this type of program, you know he can be versatile, you know he can do some different things and wear different hats on defense, and you know he's gonna be a, a tough, violent special teams player as well. With the 225th pick in the 2023 NFL Draft, the Atlanta Falcons select Jovan Gwynn, center, South Carolina. Jovan Gwynn, South Carolina, played right guard in college. 47 games is what I have and you announced him as a center. So spending time with the players and us, again, our scouting staff and our coaching staff, really looking at the players and having a clear vision. The thing about him, just like we talk about the corner, his height is an exception. Yet there have been a lot of good yeah. starting centers in the NFL in that height range where he is. And when you are an exception in one area, you have to have some intangible, something that's gonna compensate to, to get you over the hump. With this guy, I mean, he's tough, smart. He was a high school wrestler and you see that in the way he plays. He was one of the higher centers in, in, in reps at the combine, one of the uh, faster centers in the 40. He, he's a worker, and so he's gonna come in and outwork people. And, and you see the in the pass protection, strong hands, stout anchor. Again, the way he's built, his, his height and his exception, he's below average height, but he's a strong, well-built man, excellent technician, and again, he's a finisher. 
We have a great offensive line coach and, and we have a great room in the offensive line. So you can't bring a lazy dude in that room. He's just not gonna fit in and he's yep. just, they'll just spit him out. So you have to bring those types of players. My last question for you, what kind of wine did you have after night three? It's Saturday night, you are exhausted, you had a great draft, we're celebrating, what are we drinking? It was such a, you're zapped after that. And my son, he was supposed to have like a baseball game the next day and all this stuff. And he said, I can't let dad down, I need to be in the draft. So he told my wife not to pick him up and he just stayed. But there's a funny picture of him because about pick 20, he's knocked out sleeping in the draft room. But he rallied the next day and he I was, was ready saying, to roll. Did he play his baseball? His he baseball? came, so he didn't. He, he missed one of his games. Okay. And then he came for day two. And then day three, he said, hey, I trust you guys. And <laughs> so he went to his baseball game. But he loved Clark. And so he made sure I, I knew that he, he approved that pick once Great. we took the, the fourth rounder. I love it. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much. Awesome. I love that story. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>